What is up dudes, welcome back to another video on the Burning Crusade Dude Rage Adventures. We have finally made it to the Eastvale Logging Camp after last episode where we finished up the rest of the quest in Black Fathom Deeps and hit level 30 which is phenomenal. I cannot wait to finally train our riding. Light be with you. Which is 30 gold. We be have careful. plenty, plenty of gold to do it. For? And now we just have to pick which horse we want. Do we want See the Pinto, later. the brown horse, or the chestnut? So we're here with I Katie Hunter, and I friends. think we are going to go with the Pinto horse. Have a good one. And let's go ahead and jump on this thing. It is so nice to have just 60% increased speed. So let's head on back to Dusk. So we're here back in Darkshire and we're going to turn in a couple quests, uh, starting with the Worgen and well the Woods. Met. Before and well against the Dark Runners, but it seems as though their numbers are inexhaustible. Every time we make progress, more spring up to refill their ranks. What is the evil power that draws them here? Why have they come to disturb our unhappy realm? I'll put my faith in Master Caravan, no doubt he will go to the bottom of this. Your previously accomplishments convinced me that you are ready to take on the toughest worgen infesting the woods. Of the worgen that have made their new home here, the vile fangs and the tainted ones have proven the most dangerous. They've settled down near some of the caves and in the mine to the south. From far away, you can even see the light of from their bonfires. Be careful. So we get to kill even more wargans. So back here for a look to the stars, King's I think this is friend. our final quest where we got the ogre monocle. At last, the stargazing device is complete. Thank you. Now I can continue my research. So we actually get a better belt from Go this with belt honor, of the friend. stars. Awesome. So we're here with Stalf and Mist Mantle, and we actually have a druid just helping us out. And I asked him if he needed him, and he said no, so... Got a little help here by a level 29 Night Elf Druid, so... I just want to appreciate Bear Gorillas for helping us out here on Westfall. I can't do that yet. Alright, down goes Stalvin. Mist Mantle Family Ring. Alright, now it is time to head back to Darkshire real quick because this quest gives us a pretty awesome item that we can use. So we're back here with Madam Eva. Light be with you. I know, Stalvin is dead. I sense the wave of hope ripple through the tainted forest. Once and for all, Duskwood is free from his bloodthirst. My joy is hampered by thoughts of those who fell prey to the horrible beast. Nonetheless, you are a brave and cunning warrior. And like I was talking about, we have we get Crescent of the Forlorn Spirits, which is huge because 22.8 damage compared to 17.7 Safe is travels. really big. So that is such a huge upgrade for us, and we'll pretty much equip it right now. So we're here over at the Tranquil Garden Cemetery again, um, and we need to clear out some Skeletal Horrors. I don't know which quest this is for, the Night Watch. So let's get into this. We are leveling this axe up. It's so crazy that we went with such an upgrade from the Stalvin quest. That's the only reason I even attempted at that quest because it's just so long. It takes you just all over the map. Because we went from Darkshire to Moonbrook and Westfall all the way to Goldshire and then the Stormwind and then that took us all the way out to the Eastville logging camp. So it was quite a journey for the quest, but it was well worth it. But surely killing these skeletal horrors. I don't know if this is the only place they 
Oh, so it looks like they spawn all over the place at the graveyard or cemetery out there. So we definitely will have to make our way out there just because, I mean, we still gotta talk to Abercrombie and Jitters. We also need to kill some of these Nightbane Vile things and Tainted ones. So we might wait until we level up a couple more times because those guys are a little 30 pluses, so... I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head towards the Raven Hill Cemetery now. So we're here in Raven Hill and we ran into Jitters. We still need what to I figure out you? the quest Finding the Shadowy Figure. Jitters sighs. Yes, I'm the author of that book. You finally found me, eh? Well, if you read that journal, then you only know the half of it. The book you found was only half finished. I had to leave it at Sven's farm when I fled there. Here, take my completed journal to Sven. It describes more fully what happened at his farm. Although this journal has been my only company these past weeks, if given up keeps me from having to face Finn and his wrath, then I do it willingly. See you around. Alright, so we just need to make it up to Sven and then take a detour to Abercrombie and then we'll be inside the Raven Hill Cemetery. So we're here with Sven. Need help? This journal explains much to me and sets me on the path against the Dark Riders. I have seen these riders in Duskwood and have seen them speak with the wizard Morbin Fell at the Forlorn Row. Morbin Fell is a necromancer and an ally to the Dark Riders. I would pitch you against the power of Morbin Fell, but I will not send you against that vile fiend without first knowing your strength. You have already proven your bravery to me, but if you truly wish to face the necromancer, then you must now prove your skill against his minions. Light bless you. I also wanted to shout out Albroner once again. Thanks for watching the video, and I definitely will hit you up with anything I need help with. So we're over here with Abercrombie. Good day to you. Delightful. This will do splendidly. Here. Good. Take this as payment for your honorable deed. I need a bottle of a certain liquor. Zombie juice. Tavern keep smits at the Scarlet Raven Tavern, and Darkshire should have some. And please hurry. These nights get cold and I need that drink to put the fire in my veins again. Safe travels. Alright, so he wants us to go back to Darkshire again. Oh my gosh. So we're along our way back to Darkshire to continue on uh, Abercrombie's chain quest. And we ran into stitches, so he's literally about to attack the Dark Watch. Um, so we're just going to try to keep out of his way because he would probably destroy us pretty quickly. So we're here near the Rotting Orchard and I figured since we have to go back anyways for Abercrombie and his quest chain, um, it'd be a good point just to stop here and kill some Tainted Ones and uh, what is the other the vile things. Like I said, they are level 30, so they are going to take a little while to take out. And where our axe is so low level, well not too low, 121 out of 150, we're not doing too much damage right now, so. He hasn't put a debuff on us quite yet. There it goes, nature damage inflicted every 3 seconds. That ability isn't ready yet. And we are kind of missing constantly, so that's never a good thing either. Need more rage. Not enough rage. So as we make our way through here, we will get better and better. Honestly, I should have probably healed after last fight. This is not good. Um, can we use this? That helped a little bit. We should be okay. I'm hoping. Need more raid. There we go. All right, there is a healing pot for us, and it seems like we're out of um, first aid, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So we're still killing some of these tainted ones, and we haven't pulled a vile thing yet. But I did make 50 heavy wool bandages, or 49 now. 
So we should be good to go. Tainted ones do poison you, which I do have actually anti venom, which are we, we can use up to level 25. So it probably won't work, but we'll see if it does. Oh, there is level 31. So the last point in anticipation, and then we can start going into shield specialization. And then hopefully go into Defiance, which will help us in dungeons, dungeons tremendously. Hopefully when I'm range pulling a lot of these guys, I don't accidentally pull multiples because they'll probably just run at that point because I don't know if we could take on multiple level 29s and 30s. Also, I always forget to skin the wargans. Like I said before, it's just so weird to me that you can skin these guys since they were literally a playable class. I don't know if. Let's see what happens. Oh, we pulled two. Full health. Two more minutes on the priest buff, so I think we may be okay. I'll use this flash bundle. Alright, so we definitely can, it's just we're going to be healing up pretty much our full health every time. Infected wound, physical damage taken is increased by 6, which is disease, not the poison. We are leveling up our skinning pretty good here. Um, we're Closing in on that 225 already. Our mining is still slacking. We still need. We're actually 125, never mind. Um, so we don't need another point to start mining uh, iron veins. I feel like if I pulled that guy, it would actually pull those three. I wonder. Hmm. So we made our way up this hill behind him, so I think I can just shoot down at him and pull him up here away from the rest of them. I think that worked perfectly. Let's see if I can't snag this guy. It only pulls the one. Awesome. Like I said, I thought it'd be easier once our axes got leveled up a little bit. This axe is so much better than what we've had. Not enough rage. And I can't forget the shield upgrade we got too. Arctic Buckler. 3 stam, 8 spirit, 5 frost resistance, and the 642 armor and 13 block. That came from the dark, or the black fathom deeps, um, one of the quests there, so. That was a pretty good upgrade over the dead mines shield that we've been holding on to for quite a while. I think the next dungeon we'll try to get into is Nomergon. That is one confusing and long dungeon. It's not one of the longest, obviously, because there's black rock depths, which is a very, very long dungeon. But Evergon can be confusing, and it is quite long, so there's a qu couple quests in there that may take more than one run, um, especially if we're tanking, because a lot of DPS will run off and take some of the... Um, pick up items that you have to pick up so I'm sure that would be one of the annoying quests for us since we can't run off while taking so not enough rage 
Need more raid. So we were about to just pull these tainted ones and this rare randomly spawned in the Faru. So um yeah, we're not gonna mess with that guy. Uh, I don't think we could take on two level 30s and a level 34 rare. So I think we're going to either move on or wait for some of these guys to spawn back in. So do not waste any time here. We decided to move on to the second location for these guys. We only need one more tainted one and one more vile thing after this kill. So I didn't want to hold it up any longer than we had to since we have a lot to do today. So let's go ahead and kill the last two guys. I don't see another tainted one over here. There is a tainted one. Right at the entrance. We can go snag him after maybe... Yeah, we'll just have to come back over here. We'll take out two of the vile fangs to grab the... Actually, maybe we can just grab this guy here and then go up behind and snag the tainted one. Cool. Seems like a plan to me. Not enough rage. Alright, so that's 8 out of 8 of the Vile Fangs. Let's see if we can't sneakily grab this tainted one. Alright, come on. Looked like I we were in a kind of reset spot there, not meaning to. And we can snag this thing game that's just chilling right next to us. Alright, that is 8 out of 8 for the Tainted Ones, and we are finished with this quest. So now we can head back to Darkshire, turn it into Kalor, and talk to Tavern Keep Smiths for Abercrombie. Here with Kalor. What can I do for you? To be honest with you, I did not believe that you would get this far, but you are clearly a warrior to be reckoned with. In fact, if you wish to formally join Master Caravan's struggle, I will gladly write you a letter of recommendation. Here you go. Bring this message to Master Caravan. He quickly removes a piece of faded parchment and offers it to you. A few more like you, and we will outnumber the Night Watch. Perhaps then we could compete, complete the work that we few carry on today. For the Alliance. Can I help you? Worgen in the woods. Excuse me for my cold reception, but as far but as I'm sure you can tell, I am an extremely busy man. I see that you have impressed Kalor, and I assure you that it is no small feat in that he has given his recommendation. There are unsavory types of foot, and we can use the help of all who have proven themselves. We battle against demons, the undead, and those who would provide them aid. Be vigilant, be wary, and trust none who would not give aid to our cause. Glory under the light. Actually, take the cloak of faith. See you later. Awesome. So we're talking to Tavern Keep Smiths. It feels like there's a lot you of quests something? that deal with them. You need some zombie juice, do you? Hmm, that's some strong stuff. I don't usually get requests for it. If you bring me some rot blossoms, then I can brew you up a batch of zombie juice. Rot blossoms grow in strange places. In particular, I hear you can find them inside the skulls of skeletal horrors and skeletal fiends. Not that I've gotten close enough to look. The Raven Hill Cemetery is lousy with those skeletons. You may as well get rid of them while you're looking for rot blossoms. The town of Darkshire would be grateful. Be careful. Alright, so that lines up perfectly with the Night Watch quest. So, I will meet you over in the cemetery once again. So we made it over to the Raven Hill Cemetery. And we're going to try to knock down a lot of these skeletal horrors and fiends and try to collect the rot blossoms while also killing these guys for the night watch quest 
There's our first raw blossom. I'm also in a group, not before a dungeon or anything, but we will be taking out more Latum. Um, we've been holding on this quest for a little bit, so be nice to get it done. I think it's one of our only really group quests we have left here. Um, doesn't seem I like it gets too bad much of a weapon or anything, so but it'll be a nice experience, I'm sure. But I'm gonna continue on here killing these skeletal horrors and things, and I'll be back to you here in a little while. We also have to take care of some of these skeletal healers, honestly forgot about proving your worth. So let's go ahead. So we have to take out some 15 skeletal raiders, three of the healers, and three warders. So I'm assuming they're all down in this crypt here, so we'll have to make our way down there and take them out. That We're here against more Latum. We're both tanks, so this should be pretty interesting. Looks like he has, definitely has more aggro than me. Awesome, we literally annihilated more Latum. Got a skull. So I just want to shout out to Wolfie. Thanks, bud. I appreciate you so much. So after more Latum, we're just going to be sitting here, going throughout this crypt, and killing the rest of these skeletal raiders. We killed three of the healers, so we just have, what, nine or eleven more raiders, and we need to find these warders. But I think the warders are inside here. Not mistaken. Not good. Two more raiders. I'm sure they're deeper in here somewhere. They have to be. So I'm just gonna kite this guy down these stairs. Is that a poison. I wonder if I can use this on myself. Hey, it does work. Nice. I wonder if there's just a lower chance of it working since I'm not a level 25 anymore. So it looks like this person's been killing the skeletal warders. There's two down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them. I don't think they're... Let's say if we can take on two of the worgen guys, we can definitely take on two a level 29 and a level 28 here. I'm really shocked how easy more Latum was. Um, I remember in Vanilla Classic how hard he really was to take down. So it's been quite a while since I've leveled up through quests. So, but it's been a lot of fun. So I just want to thank you all if you're still hanging around in this video for watching my my video here. So, so we're here on our last. That ability isn't ready yet. So we made it back out of the crypt and we're just up here near this forlorn row uh, cabin here or house. Just killing the remainder of the skeletal raiders we have left. We only have four more to kill. We already took care of the three warders and the three healers. And after this we have a lot of skeletal fiends and horrors to kill rain. and then we have to kill enough to get six more oh. rod blossoms oh. we got a skeletal longsword it's not better than what we have but it is pretty cool looking it's like black it's like that uh, silver blade but it's more blackish and gray it's pretty neat Also, did want to say that I tried to use an anti-venom a little bit earlier on one of the earlier skeletal uh, raiders, and it did not work. So it de definitely does not work every single time above 25, but it does work a lot more than not. I've noticed. So made it over here to the skeletal fiends. 
we greatly outlevel these guys so we can easily pull plenty of them together. It's too bad we aren't some mage or something where we can just pull like 10 of these guys together and just blizzard them down. Like the good old days of grinding through mobs instead of quests with mages. I can't do that. So made up to the other side of the cemetery. Well, I was about to pull multiple, but I guess a hunter is doing the same thing I've been doing. Pretty much just kiting each mob into multiples to make Not it go by yet. a little faster. Because we killed all the horrors we needed, but we're just still pulling them because we still need two more rot blossoms. So this one should die by our rin. Not enough rage. Need more rage. So we just need one more um, Rot Blossom and four more Skeletal Fiends and then we'll be done here. So I had to come back over to the opposite end of the cemetery because like I was talking about earlier about mages where they used to uh, pull a bunch of these and grind while well, I ran into one on the opposite end actually and he was pulling a ton of these guys. So I wasn't able to um, finish the cool or yeah, find fiends. So I came up here, found a couple of these guys, and we finished the night watch. So now we're just grinding these guys to get our last rock. And of course, it's gonna be the most difficult one because we just need one more. That's how it always is on this game. And here we are with our eat out of eight with the rot blossoms. We did accidentally pull three of these guys, but it wasn't too big of a deal, thankfully. Not enough rage. Now all we need is one more skeletal raider, and they should be right up here. And that is 15 out of 15 for the skeletal raiders. So we finished all four of the quests, so we're gonna head back to um actually we're gonna go back to spin real quick and then head over to darkshire to turn in the other three quests so we're here with spin with you. your skill in combat cannot be doubted your resolve may yet see us through to the end of morbid fell go to the city of stormwind and speak with bishop farthing in the cathedral of light give him jitter's journal and tell him you mean to face morbid fell Although Stormwind has forsaken Darkshire, Furthering is a kind soul and very wise. He may help you on your quest to save us. Your mission is perilous, but hurry. With each passing hour, the shadow of Duskwood grows even darker. Light bless you. All right, so we have a quest to seek out a guy named Farthing. So we're here back in Darkshire with Commander Althea. The people of Darkshire thank you. You have proven yourself to be a great ally of the Night Watch. The situation at Raven Hill is still grim. The safety of Darkshire is in your hands. I don't have enough watchers to keep the town safe. We need you to dispatch for Raven Hill yet again and rid the eastern mausoleum of 20 plague spreaders. Have a good one. What can I do for you? More Ladam. You killed him? That's no small accomplishment. On behalf of the people of Darkshire and the Night Watch, I thank you. Ah, there is one small matter, however. I should have told you this earlier. How do I put this? Morgan may have believed that his family was all dead, but in fact his daughter Sarah Lattimore is now a watcher. She's always been troubled by the circumstances surrounding her father's death. Perhaps you can go to her to bring her the news. Safe travels. And there she is, right well behind met. us. Yes, my father. Her eyes become downcast. I wish there was something I could have done for him. If only I had to talk to him before he... Here, take this and lay it on his grave. Maybe somehow he'll know that I'm okay and that none of us hold him responsible for what happened. There are tears in her eyes now as she slides a ring from her right hand and presses it into your hands. And thank you. Be Good, you got the rot blossoms. And I'll tell Athea of the Night Watch that you were killing skeletons. Keeping the people of Darkshire safe is a grim burden for the Night Watch, and news that others are helping stem the tide of fiends and Duskwood is welcome news indeed. Here's your zombie juice. 
and be careful with this stuff. It's strong enough to raise the dead. Have a good one. What in the world is Abercrombie up to? So we're here with Abercrombie who's mysteriously getting you uh, need something? zombie juice that awakens skeletons. So a thousand thanks. You warm an old man's heart with your foolish, I mean with your kindness. Here you are, friend. Take this as a token of my gratitude. I live so far from the protection of the town that it's a wonder the ghouls and the walking dead haven't eaten me. In fact, just yesterday a pack of bone chewers was pounding on the walls of my house. I want to make an effigy, a kind of scarecrow for the ghouls. To do that I need some ghoul ribs. You can get them from flesh eaters, bone chewers, brain eaters, rotted ones, and plague spreaders. Get the ribs for me and I will repay you with some coin. Gather seven ghoul See ribs. You well, that works perfectly with us needing to get the rest of the plague spreaders. So we're here at the weathered grave. A ghostly voice sounds on the wind. This is Sarah? Could it be she's still alive? The weight is removed from my shoulders. Take my sword, Archaeus, as my soul is put to rest. I have no more need for it. It was forced to do good, and though I proved myself unworthy to hold it, perhaps you will carry on the light through it. It is a pretty cool sword. Cool, so we finished the Lattimore quest chain, so let's go and kill some ghouls. We're down here in the crypts. Um, I think this is where a lot of the plague spreaders are. There are a bunch of um, bone chewers and everything. Oh, you can interrupt them. That's, I didn't know you could. It's a disease, so we couldn't use our antivenom, but we need ghoul ribs anyways, so it looks like there's more plague spreaders than there are um, brain eaters and chewers, so that's always a good thing. Let's see if we can't start pulling some of these guys without chain pulling the rest. gonna start that pulling these guys around the corner. Good. Honestly, I think if I can heal up, we can take on a little bit more. 10% chance to spread Wandering Plague on hit. Hmm. I think I'm gonna heal up here and pull a couple in a row. This bone chewer looks like he's coming towards me, so I can't do that. ruin that plan. But I'm gonna pull him over here to the other spreader. Go ahead and put Rend on him and let him drop in health while we kill this other one. And our first ghoul rib. So I'm gonna actually heal up and then continue killing these plague spreaders throughout this catacombs. So we made it towards the back of the catacombs and there's like this little um, access, I guess, hideaway, a uh, little tunnel here. So I'm gonna make my way through it and see if there's anything on the other side. It looks like it comes into another part of the crypt here. Skeletal healer. Oh, we're just back in the other side of that other crypt. So I'm going to make my way back and see if we can't find 10 more plague spreaders and get us four more ghoul ribs. And there is 7 out of 7 for the ghoul ribs. Well, we were going to heal up before pulling Need this, but rage. might as well go straight Not into it. Rage. We still are missing out on... After this one, we'll still be missing out on 7 more plague spreaders throughout this place. There's actually one behind us, but I don't know if we can pull through after this one. Actually, let's just do it, because I know that paladin that's behind us is going to pull it. So let's go ahead and take this dude out and hopefully not die here. Yeah. 
Definitely was a big risk. I don't think, eh, the spirit here, the healer's not too far away for if we did die. We do have quite, there's another plague spreader. So I'm just gonna head back here and see if there's not any more and there's one right there. Awesome, a couple more actually. So here with all three of them. We threw Rin on all of them. And we're just gonna slowly knock them down and out here. This Rin uh, thunderclap combination has been working pretty well for us when grouping um, these mobs together to kill them a lot quicker. All right, 19 out of 20. I think that, yep, the last spreader is right there. So we are going to take him out. Hopefully we don't pull anything unneeded. It's too far away. Need more rain. He's running. Nope, we're good. Awesome, so this should put us 20 out of 20, and we should be able to go back and talk to Abercrombie about the ghoul ribs. He's been kind of acting a little funny about um, what we've been bringing him. He kind of slipped up there on our last quest turn in, so I'm curious to what he will say next. We're back here with Abercrombie. How are you? Ah, thanks. These will do just the trick. Here's level 32. There is our first point into... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go into shield specialization because improved shield block is huge later on. A few weeks ago I was picking herbs far from my house and a band of ogres attacked me. I ran and I was forced to leave behind a crate of precious tools and herbs. After they chased me off, the ogres swaggered back to the ogre mound in southern Duskwood. I'm sure my crate is somewhere near the mound. Please, retrieve this crate for me, for I miss it sorely. Have a good one. I wonder what's in the crate that he needs so bad out here. So it's just right down there. So we're gonna head down there and snag that crate for him and come back up here. Thank the ne- well, thank you. You have more than earned your reward. Aha, happy, happy nights ahead. Take this note to Elo Ebenlock, the mayor of Darkshire. He and I are old friends, and when he reads it and discovers what you did for me, I'm sure he'll be just as happy as I am. Safe travels. He seems very suspicious, but we'll definitely deliver his note to the mayor. We're here in Darkshire with Commander Atheli Ebenlock. Hey. On behalf of the people of Darkshire and as the leader of the Night Watch, I thank you. For your bravery and dedication. May the light shine upon your ways. I think we're going to take the quiver of the night Farewell. watch here and then we're going to go inside here and talk to Lord Elo Ebenlock. Elo looks at the letter. What language is this? It's, it looks ancient. I can't read it. Take the note you gave me to Sira Von Indy. He's very learned in languages and ancient arts. If anyone here can translate this message, it's Be he. Be careful. Oh, so he's just right here. King's honor, friend. Sarah begins translating the note. I'm almost finished translating that note. If you come by in a few moments, I should be done. What can I do for you? There we are. It's translated. The air grows heavy as if a thick black curtain is drawn over the land. Oh my, if what is written on this note is true, then Abercrombie's done something unspeakable. You better bring the translated note back to Ello, and do so quickly, for I fear doom already lumbers towards our town. Light bless you. I knew he was up to something weird, just how he was speaking. Well met. Ello reads the letter and his face grows white. He then looks at you. Although the aid you gave Abercrombie may have been motivated from kindness, your actions have doomed our town. Ello becomes lost in his thoughts. The embalmer is a name told in one of our children's stories. He was a kindly alchemist, driven mad by the death of his wife, Eliza. To restore her, he used dark magic to place his own heart within the bosom of his dead spouse. Okay. This revived Eliza, but it cursed her with a hunger for human flesh, forcing the embalmer to keep her buried. His heart is his power. Find his wife's grave, retrieve his heart, and bring it to me while it still beats. Do this and his powers will be broken. Go with honor, friend. 
Okay, so we need to go retrieve a heart of all things. We made it here to Elisa's grave dirt. You dig through the semi-loose dirt over the grave and find the remains of a coffin. Within the coffin you feel the vibrating scrapes of clawed fingers and the gnashing of rotted teeth. Will you open the coffin and retrieve the embalmer's heart? Oh, so Lisa just pops out at us. You look delicious. So she's just trying to eat me. So this man has literally been keeping his wife. What in the world? So we've been just running around. Getting everything for Abercrombie for his wife to stay alive. Oh my. Need more rage. Not enough rage. Alright, so we got the heart and now we just need to bring it back to uh, Darkshire to Lord Ello Ebonlock. So we made it back to Darkshire's town hall to talk to Lord Ello. You. You've done it. The magic within his heart will be proof against the embalmer's evil and a powerful Aegis over the town of Darkshire. You have done a great thing for our people. Your name will remain in our annals forever. That is so close to being better. And a pretty cool shield, so oh, we get both of them. We actually get some better shoulders, Be just barely. They're both cloth. But Anyways, guys, I think this is a great stopping point for us. We got a lot done today. We finally, finally finished Duskwood. We've been kind of slacking here after doing a couple dungeons the last couple of episodes but i think our next area we'll be heading to is just south of us in stranglethorn vale um stv is literally one of my favorite zones to quest in you run into the nest and hunters and then you meet the goblins finally down in booty bay so there's just a lot to do here as we see in the background stitches is currently attacking Darkshire, so we'll try not to get killed here. But if you're still watching this, I just want to say thank you and I appreciate you guys. And if you could just leave a like and subscribe and just leave a comment down in the uh, below the video um, if you have any questions or just have something to say. So, anyways, I'll catch you all next time on the next episode of Dude Rage Adventures and the Burning Crusade. Thanks, guys.